नमस्कार होप यू आर हेल एंड हार्टी टेकिंग केयर ऑफ योर हेल्थ एंड योर स्टडीज बिफोर वी स्टार्ट टूडेज सेशन आई वुड लाइक टू रिकॉल यू द चैप्टर नंबर टू ऑफ योर इकोनॉमिक्स बुक्स विच टॉक्स अबाउट वेरियस सेक्टर्स ऑफ इंडियन इकोनॉमी एज यू आर अवेयर दैट इंडियन इकोनॉमी इज डिवाइडेड इन टू थ्री पार्ट्स प्राइमरी सेकेंडरी एंड टर्शरी द प्राइमरी सेक्टर ऑफर्स employment to 53 to 55% of indian population and in this primary sector agriculture plays a very vital role yes that's what we are going to do today we are going to do chapter number 4 of your geography book contemporary india part 2 the name of the chapter is agriculture india is an agriculturally important country 2/3 of population is engaged in agricultural activities agriculture is a primary activity which produces most of the food that we consume besides food grains it also produces raw material for various industries we are also the exporters of some agricultural products like tea coffee spices etc types of farming agriculture is an age old economic activity in our country over these years cultivation methods have changed significantly depending upon the characteristics of physical environment technological know-how and socio cultural practices farming varies from subsistence to commercial type at present in different parts of india the following farming systems are practiced primitive subsistence farming this type of farming is still practiced in few pockets of india primitive subsistence agriculture is practiced on small patches of land with the help of primitive tools like hoe dow and digging sticks and family community labor this type of farming depends upon monsoon natural fertility of the soil and suitability of other environmental conditions to the crops grown it is a slash and burn agriculture farmers clear a patch of land and produce cereals and other food crops to sustain their family when the soil fertility decreases the farmers shift and clear a fresh patch of land for cultivation this type of shifting allows nature to replenish the fertility of the soil through natural processes land productivity in this type of agriculture is low as the farmer does not use fertilizers or other modern inputs it is known by different names in different parts of the country so do you know the names in north eastern states like assam meghalaya mizoram and nagaland it is known as the jhum kheti in manipur it's known as pamlao it is called deepa in bastar district of chatisgarh and in andaman nicobar islands from here we shift to intensive subsistence farming this type of farming is practiced in areas of high population pressure on land it is labor intensive farming where high doses of biochemical inputs and irrigation are used for obtaining higher production though the right of inheritance leading to the division of land among successive generations has rendered land holding size uneconomical the farmers continue to take maximum output from the limited land in the absence of alternative source of livelihood thus there is enormous pressure on the agriculture land now we talk about commercial farming the main characteristic of this type of farming is the use of higher doses of modern inputs which are high yielding variety seeds chemical fertilizers insecticides and pesticides in order to obtain higher productivity the degree of commercialization of agriculture varies from one region to another for example rice is a commercial crop in haryana and punjab but in odisha it is subsistence crop but plantation is also a type of commercial farming in this type of farming a single crop is grown on a large area the plantation 
has an interface of agriculture and industry. Plantations cover large tracts of land using capital intensive inputs with the help of migrant laborers. All the produce is used as raw material in respective industries. In India, tea, coffee, rubber, sugarcane, banana, etc. are important plantation crops. Since the production is mainly for the market, a well-developed network of transport and communication connecting the plantation areas, processing industries and market plays an important role in the development of plantations. Let's talk about cropping patterns. We have studied the physical diversities and plurality of cultures in India. These are also reflected in agricultural practices and cropping patterns in our country. Various types of food and fiber crops, vegetables and fruits, spices and condiments, etc. constitute some of the important crops grown in the country. India has three cropping seasons, Rabi, Kharif and Zaid. Rabi crops are sown in winter from October to December and harvested in summer from April to June. Some of the important rabi crops are wheat, barley, peas, gram and mustard. Though these crops are grown in large parts of India, states from north and northwestern part such as Punjab, Haryana, Himachal, Jammu and Kashmir, Uttarakhand and Uttar Pradesh are important for the production of wheat and other rabi crops. Availability of precipitation during winter months due to the western temperate cyclones help in the success of these crops. However, the success of green revolution in Punjab, Haryana, western Uttar Pradesh and parts of Rajasthan has also been an important factor in the growth of the above mentioned rabi crops. From rabi crops, we talk about kharif crops. Kharif crops are grown with the onset of monsoon in different parts of the country and these are harvested in September, October. Important crops grown during this season are paddy, maize, jowar, bajra, tur, moong, cotton, jute, groundnut and soybean. Some of the most important rice growing regions are Assam, West Bengal, coastal regions of Odisha, Andhra Pradesh, Telangana, Tamil Nadu, Kerala and Maharashtra, particularly the Konkan coast along with Uttar Pradesh and Bihar. Recently, paddy has also become an important crop of Punjab and Haryana. In states like Assam, West Bengal and Odisha, three crops of paddy are grown in any year. These are Oos, Aman and Boro. In between the Rabi and Kharif seasons, there is a short season during the summer. It is known as the Zaid season. Some of the crops produced during Zaid are watermelon, muskmelon, cucumber, vegetables and fodder crops. Sugarcane takes almost an year to grow. Now we talk about the major crops. So, a variety of food and non-food crops are grown in different parts of the country depending upon the variations in soil, climate and cultivational practices. Major crops grown in India are rice, wheat, millet, pulses, tea, coffee, sugar cane, oil seeds, cotton and jute etc. Let's start from rice. It is a staple food crop of majority of people in India. Our country is the second largest producer of rice in the world after China. It is a kharif crop which requires high temperature above 25 degrees Celsius and high humidity with annual rainfall above 100 cm. In the areas of less rainfall, it grows with the help of irrigation. Rice is grown in the plains of north and northeastern India, coastal areas and the deltic regions. Development of dense network of canal irrigation and tube wells have made it possible to grow rice in areas of less rainfall such as Punjab, Haryana and western Uttar Pradesh and parts of Rajasthan. After rice, we talk about wheat. This is the second most important cereal crop. It is a main food crop in north and northwestern part of the country. This rabi crop 
requires a cool growing season and a bright sunshine at the time of ripening it requires 50 to 75 cm of annual rainfall evenly distributed over the growing season there are two important wheat growing zones in the country one is the ganga satluj plains in the northwest and black soil region of the deccan the major wheat producing states are punjab haryana uttar pradesh bihar rajasthan and parts of madhya pradesh after wheat it is the turn of millets millets are jowar bajra and ragi though these are known as coarse grains they have very high nutritional value for example ragi is very rich in iron calcium other micronutrients and roughage jowar is the third most important food crop with respect to area and production it is a rain fed crop mostly grown in the moist areas which hardly needs irrigation major jowar producing states are maharashtra karnataka andhra pradesh and madhya pradesh in 2011-12 bajra grows well on sandy soils and shallow black soil major bajra producing states are rajasthan uttar pradesh and maharashtra ragi is a crop of dry regions and grows well on red black sandy loamy and shallow black soils major ragi producing states are karnataka tamil nadu himachal pradesh uttarakhand sikkim jharkhand and arunachal pradesh maize it is a crop which is used both as food and fodder it is a kharif crop which requires temperature between 21 degree celsius to 27 degree celsius and grows well in old alluvial soil in some states like bihar maize is grown in rabi season also use of modern inputs such as hyv seeds fertilizers and irrigation have contributed to the increasing production of maize major maize producing states are karnataka uttar pradesh bihar andhra pradesh telangana and madhya pradesh now we talk about the pulses india is the largest producers as well as the consumer of the pulses in the world these are major sources of protein in a vegetarian diet major pulses that are grown in india are tuar urad moong masoor peas and gram pulses need less moisture and survive even in dry conditions being leguminous crops all these crops except arhar helps in restoring soil fertility by fixing nitrogen from the air therefore these are mostly grown in a rotation with other crops major pulse producing states in india are madhya pradesh uttar pradesh rajasthan maharashtra and karnataka now food crops other than the grains first and foremost is sugarcane it is a tropical as well as a subtropical crop it grows well in hot and humid climate with a temperature of 21 degrees celsius to 27 degrees celsius and an annual rainfall between 75 centimeter and 100 centimeter irrigation is required in the regions of low rainfall it can be grown on a variety of soils and needs manual labor for sowing to harvesting india is the second largest producer of sugarcane only after brazil it is main source of sugar gourd which is also called jaggery khansari and molasses The major sugarcane producing states are Uttar Pradesh, Maharashtra, Karnataka, Tamil Nadu, Andhra Pradesh, Telangana, Bihar, Punjab and Haryana. Now we talk about oil seeds. In 2016, India was the second largest producer of groundnut in the world after China. Different oil seeds are grown covering approximately 12% of the total cropped area of the country. Main oil seeds produced in India are groundnut, mustard, coconut and sesame, soya bean, castor seeds, cotton seeds, linseed seeds and sunflower. Most of these are edible and used as cooking mediums. However, some of these are also used as raw material in the production of soap, cosmetics and ointments. Groundnut is a kharif crop and accounts for about half of the major oil seeds produced in the country. Gujarat, 
was the largest producer of groundnut followed by Andhra Pradesh and Tamil Nadu in 2011 and 12. Linseed and mustard are rabi crops. Sesame is a karif crop in north and rabi crop in south. Castor seed is grown both as rabi and karif crop. Now let's talk about tea. Tea cultivation is an example of plantation agriculture. It is also an important beverage crop introduced in India initially by the British. Today, most of the tea plantations are owned by Indians. The tea plant grows well in tropical and subtropical climates, endowed with deep and fertile, well-drained soil, rich in humus and organic matter. Tea bushes require warm and moist, frost-free climate all throughout the year. Frequent showers evenly distributed over the year ensure continuous growth of tender leaves. Tea is a labor-intensive industry. It requires abundant, cheap and skilled labor. Tea is processed within the tea gardens to restore its freshness. Major tea-producing states are Assam, Hills of Darjeeling, Jalpaiguri District, West Bengal, Tamil Nadu and Kerala. Apart from these, Himachal Pradesh, Uttarakhand, Meghalaya, Andhra Pradesh and Tripura are also tea producing states in the country. From tea, we move on to coffee. Indian coffee is known in the world for its good quality. The Arabica variety initially brought from Yemen is produced in the country. This variety is in great demand all over the world. Initially, its cultivation was introduced on the Baba Budan hills and even today, its cultivation is confined to Nilgiri in Karnataka, Kerala and Tamil Nadu. Now let's talk about horticulture crops. In 2008, India was the second largest producer of fruits and vegetables in the world after China. India is a producer of tropical as well as temperate fruits. Mangoes of Maharashtra, Andhra Pradesh, Telangana, Uttar Pradesh and West Bengal, oranges of Nagpur and Cherapunji, bananas of Kerala, Mizoram, Maharashtra and Tamil Nadu, lychee and guava of Uttar Pradesh and Bihar, pineapples of Meghalaya, grapes of Andhra Pradesh, Telangana and Maharashtra, apples, pears, apricots and walnuts of Jammu and Kashmir and Himachal Pradesh are in great demand the world over. India produces about 13% of the world's vegetables. It is an important producer of peas, cauliflower, onion, cabbage, tomato, brinjal and potato. With this, we come to the end of part one of this video. Let's analyze what we have learned. On your screens, you can see a question followed by it are four options. You have to pick the correct option. So here we go. Which of the following are plantation crops? Is it rice and maize, wheat and pulses, tea, coffee, banana and sugarcane? Option number four, jowar and bajra. Option number three, tea, coffee, banana, and sugarcane. The three major cropping seasons of India are Os, Aman, and Boro, Rabi, Kharif, and Zed, Baisak, Pos, and Chet, none of the above. Yes, the three major cropping seasons of India are Rabi, Kharif, and Zed. My next question to you is, the main food crop of Kharif season is mustard, pulses, rice or wheat. Rice it is. Option number C, rice. Very good going. Important non-food crops of our country are tea and coffee, millets and pulses, cotton and jute or none of the above. Yes, it's cotton and jute. Last question for the day, which is the main food crop of eastern and southern part of the country? Rice, wheat, maize or sugarcane? Yes, the main food crop of eastern and southern part of the country is rice. Hope today's session was fruitful for you. We'll be back with part two of this video pretty soon. So till then, stay safe, stay healthy and keep studying. Namaskar.